Welcome to this month's market update. I'm here today with Dr. Vivian Zhu, a member of Frontier Advisors Capital Markets and Asset Allocation Team. Hi there, Vivian. Hi, Wei. So uh, there's been quite a lot of volatility with Chinese stocks recently um, from some economic policy stimulus. Can you talk to us a little bit about that? Sure. Um, so as you all know, the Chinese economy has been struggling with a property downturn and severe domestic uh, demand weaknesses. And so the authorities are facing increasing pressure to meet the 5% annual growth target. Um, that is uh, what motivates them to uh, announce the series of stimulus policies recently at, uh, in late uh, September and early October. The market has reacted quite significantly with the Chinese stocks jumped more than uh, 35% initially, um, and the valuation is now close to historical median. So the policy stimulus is including, um, it's a mix of monetary and fiscal stimulus. It includes um, large rate cuts and um, some stock market support as well. For example, there is a new reference for the uh, property sector. Um, it, the, the Chinese authority called for stop the decline in the property market. This is a new wording that never appeared in official narratives before. Mm -hmm. um, and it is seen as a signal that the authority is shifting their policy stance. So um, will that continue to impact growth in China or do you think there's more that needs to happen? Well, uh, the majority of the market is probably still looking for additional fiscal measures because the current fiscal measures announced are still lacking concrete details. Um, and this is leading most investors to turn into cautious um, after you know, the initial rally. Mm. So um, we've reviewed the uh, announcement made so far. Mm. Most of the measures are focused on monetary stimulus, but um, the common belief is that more stronger fiscal stimulus um, are needed for a long-term meaningful recovery in the real economy. So you talk about you've been doing your own review of that. What are some of the signals that investors should be looking for? Yeah, um, well, historically, there are a few um, indicators that are highly correlated with Chinese growth, especially like uh, credit growth. Uh, private credit growth, sometimes we call it the total social financing. And uh, historically, it's a good indicator of Chinese growth. And um, if should there be significant policy measure announced, we should see uh, the credit growth um, expand, expanding. And another thing we're watching closely is the property sector indicators, of course, just given how big the mm -hmm. property sector is. Yes. Um, we're tracking uh, high frequency data in property transactions and see um, so far we haven't seen a uh, meaningful uh, recovery in the data yet, but uh, with the policy flowing through, um, that is yet to be seen. Okay, so let's track east across the Pacific. The U.S. economy, how have, uh, how have markets been performing there? Yeah, the U.S. economy in general is still holding quite resilient mm. with consumption, household consumption running strong. Um, and, you know, inflation is coming down, getting closer to the Fed's target. Um, and asset prices have been doing well. Um, they're... It looks like things are looking quite good and we are um, getting closer to what the Fed is hoping for, the uh, soft landing scenario. Um, yeah. And so, of course, as we record this, a US election is a few days ago. There may be some people watching this video after the election result. So what are some of the outcomes that could eventuate from either a Republican or a Democrat victory? Well, generally, the market 
has now moved to pricing in a bigger probability of for a Trump win. And the Trump win from a uh, economic perspective is expected to be slightly more inflationary than the Harris win. And so the market has moved to pricing in for a higher U.S. Treasury yield and um, a stronger U.S. dollar with, you know, the outlook for a lower tax and higher tariffs from a Trump government. Great insights. Thanks, Vivian. And thanks to you for watching this month's Market Update.